stuck. Don't worry, everybody. I'm okay. The billboard broke my fall. It's jammed. What the hell? Hey, could you give me a... Jennifer? This is the dumbest design ever. Jennifer, I need some help. Martin? It is you. Is that a DeLorean? Yes, no, I mean, well, sort of. You don't remember the DeLorean? Well, I'll certainly remember it now. It's sticking out of the friggin' billboard. Uh, never mind that. Just give me a hand, okay? So who are you supposed to be, Luke or Bo? This isn't funny, Jennifer. Oh, man. What's the date? What? That's something I should be asking you. You've probably wrecked your head. Just, what's the date, Jennifer? It's the 15th. The year? 1986. Duh. Oh, man. Oh, man. This can't be happening. Jennifer, you look so... different. That's the general idea of being a non-conformist. That's not what I meant. What are you getting at? What are you wearing, Jen? You look so... Fed up? Keen eye you got there. I was gonna say punk. A whole world alien to the likes of you, dork. What'd you do to your hair? Helter Skelter. What? It's the same hair dye I always use. What's with the attitude? I'm not having this argument again. We've argued about this before? I'm guessing you won the argument. Never mind, I gotta get out of this car. Good idea. What are you doing down there? Not that you'd ever understand it, but I'm doing my part to support the arts in Hill Valley. Anyway, what's the technical term for attempting to jump your DeLorean through a billboard? Where did you even get a DeLorean? Is it stolen? That's a little complicated. I bet. Can you help me down? Why don't you just jump? I'll break my neck. And? The door's jammed. Can you get it open? I can't reach it. Besides, I'm not climbing under the car. It could come down on my head. Could you call someone? A tow truck, maybe. Get real? I'm in enough trouble already. I'm not gonna explain your DeLorean violating a billboard to anyone. You got any rope you can toss me? Uh-uh. All I have is this rusty wrench thing I found in the dirt. A tire iron. I think that'll do. Toss it here. Oh, back off, Martin. This is my witch it. What do you give me for it? All right, let me think this through. Don't strain your brain, Geekzilla. Jennifer! This is all I got. Is there anything in it? Give it here. Ugh, it smells like armpits and booze. Irving Kid Tannen, the gangster? Where the hell did you get this? It's a long story. Can I just have the tire iron now? Heads up! Thanks! Oh, great. Now what? Oops. Oh.
Well, your dorkness, my debt to society is paid. As for you, good luck with your car. Way to stick it to Big Brother. Just don't expect your sudden cry for attention to change anything between us, dig? It doesn't change what? Look, Jennifer, I think there are some things we need to talk about. Hey, maybe you can give me a lift into town. Oh, sure, Martin. Climb on in. Hey, Jennifer, wait! I told you, we're through, McFly. I'll never date such a square again. My own girlfriend thinks I'm a square? Jesus, could this get any worse? Whoa, whoa, whoa! I could really use your help right about now. Relax. We've got everything under control. Well, at least one of the hover wheels work. Dead. May 15th, 1986. Yeah, the, the date's right, but... That's not good. Twelve volts. Wait, this is the car battery? It must have been installed in 2015 with the Mr. Fusion. Still has plenty of juice. I don't really see anywhere to hook the battery up directly. I can't see anything with the wheel connected to the car. Okay, good. This could be useful. Now, think, Marty, think. Let's see here. Red to positive, black to negative. Okay, Doc, let's see what kind of nightmare alternate timeline I've landed in this time. Okay, Marty, nothing to be afraid of. It's just an alternate hill valley that's turned my girlfriend into a punk rock vandal. That doesn't mean it's full of post-apocalyptic biker gangs run by armies of Biff clones. Just... Take a deep breath and remember, we gotta find Doc. It's so, so clean. Good morning, citizen. And a good morning to you too, citizen. What's going on here, Doc? Jeez, my Hill Valley never looked this good. Watch where you're going, citizen. Sorry. 
Mr. Parker? That's Officer Parker to you, Martin. Now what's with the outfit? I, uh... It's Thursday. Yeah? Polo shirt Thursday. You're out of uniform. That's a violation of Civic Ordinance 9 Triple E. And you're not wearing an ID in direct violation of Ordinance WB714. What are you up to, citizen? Polo shirt? Are you on the pot, citizen? Put your arms up. Spread your legs. Hey, what are you doing? Quiet. Hold still. Hmm, nothing. What's your deal today, McFly? Uh, can you tell me where I could find Doc, uh, Citizen Brown? Are you sure you're an honor student? Where do you think he is at this time of day? At work? That's right, working at the courthouse. Heavy. Hey, what's with the pat down? What do you think, I'm packing heat? Heat, contraband. Contraband? You know. Booze, smokes, bubblegum, dogs, circus bubble gum peanuts. Is illegal. Come on, McFly. You're smart enough to know that ignorance of the Civic Ordinance 2XM isn't an excuse. Have you seen Jennifer? What's it to you? I thought she broke up with you. Yeah, well, I need to talk to her about that. Good luck finding her. I usually don't see her unless she's racking up demerits for her art. Since when are you a cop? I thought you were a shoe salesman. Are you on something? I've always been a cop. Just like my pa. Great. I've turned my girlfriend's dad into a cop. I've got to finish my beat. Are you going to make trouble for me today? No. No what? No, sir. That's right, citizen. In Valley Courthouse, how may I help you, citizen? I need to see Doc, or uh, Citizen Brown. Do you have an appointment? Uh, no, but... Then I'm afraid you'll have to wait your turn. Citizen Brown's a very busy man. That voice sounds familiar. Biff? Doc? I need to talk to you. In Valley Courthouse, how may I... Look, I really need to see Citizen Brown. It's an emergency. Are you on fire? Of course not. Are you bleeding profusely on the pavement? No, but it's a... Then it's no emergency that couldn't wait for a scheduled appointment. Good day. Stop pressing my button. Hey, let me in. Edna. There. Now you've ruined it for everyone. Please, just give me five minutes with Citizen Brown. No appointment. No entry. Nobody. No how. are standing in front of the Hill Valley Courthouse. The original courthouse was built in 1885, just 20 years after Hill Valley's incorporation into the state of California. Though the courthouse holds the seat of the local government, it also has been used as a shelter during the recovery period following the 1906 San Francisco earthquake. Most of Hill Valley's community is a result of displaced San Franciscans planting roots after that dreadful disaster. 
In 1976, the downtown renovation project saw the first major additions made to the courthouse since its original construction. The courthouse was expanded with an additional 128 offices in the new flanking wings and a new mayoral office added to the original clock tower space. Look closely and you can still see some of the original courthouse's details preserved in the new international inspired facade. I'm all for recycling, but this is out of control. Oh, wait, citizen. Are you about to throw something away? Make sure you use the correct receptacle. Hill Valley takes pride in its diverse waste management system. What is the aluminum content of that can? Make sure it goes into the correct blue receptacle. Is that green, clear, or amber glass? It makes a difference. Remember that all consumable wrapping is tagged with a microchip to help us automatically police litter. What's the problem, citizen? Oops, wrong number. What's the problem, citizen? Uh, everything's perfectly all right now. We're, uh, we're fine. We're all fine now. Thank you. Uh, how are you? What's the problem, citizen? Yeah, I'll have a double-double animal style with fries and a diet. That's it. It's called an emergency intercom for a reason. I'm wrapping you for an SCR 300. Take your demerit printout before you go. I don't want to annoy whoever's on the other end of that thing. Commemorating on the 25th day of August this year of our Lord, 1931, the capture and incarceration of Irving Kidd Tannen and the disbanding of his criminal syndicate by the heroic efforts and ingenious mind of our beloved first citizen, Emmett Lathrop Brown, by virtue of his experimental rocket car. Edna must have written that. First Citizen Brown, the mind head of Hill Valley. A man of infinite wisdom and awe-inspiring imagination. Emmett Lathrop Brown had been raised by a family legacy steeped in law, but hadn't set his sights on his destiny until he single-handedly thwarted the nefarious gangster Irving Kid Tannen and his bootlegging syndicate. After this heroic event, immortalized by the grand statue on the courthouse lawn, First Citizen Brown devoted his life to civil and social engineering, using Hill Valley as a prototype for tomorrow's cities today. Look around yourself. Breathe in the fresh air. Enjoy the immaculate scenery and architecture. You are standing among the denizens of the most sociologically advanced city in the world. Hill Valley, a perfect place to live. Let's take a moment to look up at the city's centerpiece, the courthouse, with its ornate clock tower. Look closely. Do you see a silhouette behind the clock? That's our beloved first citizen. Emmett L. Brown, toiling away on new ideas to make Hill Valley the city of tomorrow, today.